Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Today, for the members uh, assembled here today and all those at home, uh, today, Thursday, November 20th, is the International Transgender Day of Remembrance. It is a day to mark the loss of transgender people in our communities, people who've been lost due to hatred, people who've been lost due to violence, poverty, ignorance, people lost due to denial. Indeed, honourable members, trans people and gender variant people in our communities face rates of violence much, much higher than the general population. These are people who've been lost due to rigid gender roles that deny their existence and deny all of us their ability to be their true humanity. Trans people are everywhere, in every community in this province, and yet too often in our health, education, justice, and economic systems, they've been marginalized into invisibility. Today is a day to speak out, to stand up and remember that when our community isn't free, when one is made to feel lesser, then we are all less free, and we are all made smaller. As we remember, as we marked today, Transgender Day of Remembrance, we also must make a choice, a choice to act against the violence of denial, the violence of assault, the violence that continues to kill trans people at a much higher rate than the rest of us. We must make a choice to include trans people in our systems, in our health, education, justice systems, and most importantly, in our communities. We must also remember that nothing about us without us, as the trans community says. They must be made to be at the center of these reforms, with their voice leading the way. For too long, there has been a paternalistic, uh, top-down approach that denies their very fundamental human rights. Indeed, Honourable Speaker, this legislature has, until very recently, barely recognized transgender people's existence at all. In fact, I could find no uh, recognition of trans people before 2008 in this legislature. Thank you, so, Member. Honourable Speaker, I ask that we mark this day and remember and act. Thank, Thank you, you Honourable Member. Speaker.